Hey yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Cosme, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to take a 3D animation from Blender and importing it into Photoshop, and from there we're going to end up with a uh, GIF that could essentially be used as a sticker on your social medias, or even on your website on the header, which I'll show you how that would work as well. Alright, so now here in Blender, I already have my scene set up, I have my animation set up, I have everything already ready to go. Um, if you want to learn how to do a quick, simple um, animation like this one, just comment down below and I'll do a whole separate tutorial on that as well. Alright, so basically what you're going to want to do is you want to make sure to go to the output properties and here you want to go and play around with the uh, resolution um, now based on what um, type of logo you have. So on my case, I have a horizontal one, so it's longer this way. Um, I'm going to use 1920 by 1080 um, so I could fit most of that logo in my um, camera or my um, canvas and that way it'll it'll have a clearer version of it when I go and export it right now if you have a circle or a uh, square um, logo then you might want to do a thousand by a thousand or 1920 by 1920 and uh, that'll also fill up your whole um, canvas or uh, camera um, or if you have a vertical logo which is longer this way then you might want to do um, uh, 1080 by 19 by 1920 that being said, the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a whole complete new folder for this um, render just because you're going to go and save up a whole bunch of images and you don't want to put that on just on free for all on your USB drive or hard drive or desktop um, because you're just going to have a whole bunch of images that you're going to have to go through. So what I usually do is I go to my um, hard drive, I right click, uh, new folder and uh, rename it for example on this one it's gonna be a gif tutorial final and I say final because I've actually done this video so many times already and something keeps uh, messing up the whole video so hopefully this will be the last one so um, again let's put over here gif final tut or tut for tutorial and um, accept it or just click enter on the blue button and now that you have this you want to make sure you have PNG selected um, since it's images that we're going to be rendering in uh, Blender and uh, you want to make sure you have RGBA selected because if you don't have RGBA selected then you're just going to have a background and we want to have a transparent GIF meaning there's no background and anywhere you put it on it just it takes that color of that background so that being said um, again I already have everything set up I have my my render uh, view for, viewport set up ambient occlusion selected bloom screen space reflection motion blur and um, I have EV selected for this one just because I don't I don't need more than that um, that being said all you got to do now is go to render and the uh, render animation and so this is gonna take some time right but on the meantime while it renders um, another thing I wanted to say is as you can see down here I have uh, 90 frames for the animation if you have any longer than that keep in mind it's gonna take longer on Photoshop and I'll show you guys what I mean by that so the less animation the the less frames you have the better the faster you you'll, you'll be able to do or go through this process so keep that in mind also guys while we're at it please make sure to um, follow me on so, uh, my other social media such as Instagram and TikTok by um, Cosmico Art Cosmico Art um, and over there you'll be seeing different type of uh, content since I don't be posting about um, the brands that I be working with or um, the clothing designs that I be working with um, and I also have a lot of information that is going to be um, going up on my uh, Instagram very soon about clothing manufacturers overseas and things like that. Alright, so render is done and uh, what you want to do now is you want to go into uh, Photoshop, which I already have, e I already have it uh, opened up and you want to go to file, you want to go to scripts and uh, load files into stack and so here we got file selected, you want to go to browse and you want to of course like I said go and search up for that um, folder where we saved up the, uh, the GIF. So I got GIF tutorial, which I spelled it wrong, but it's okay, no problem. Uh, double click on that. Now here, like I said, you have all these images of the animation with a transparent background that we're gonna import into Photoshop. So you wanna go click on that very first one while holding shift, scroll down and click on that very last um, image. And you wanna go and click okay. And it's just gonna load the layers in here. Might take a few seconds, might take a bit longer it all depends on what type of computer you have click OK and so now here in Photoshop it's just gonna take a while so just sit back enjoy the time 
and uh, yeah so as you can see it's just loading each image in, uh, in separate layers and it's going from all the way to the very last layer which is since I have 90 frames as you can see down there it says 90 tutorial 90 that's the last layer and it's just it's, it's doing like a countdown type of thing so let's just wait and yeah all right so now we have all the files layers loaded into Photoshop as you can see down here it goes all the way from 1 to um, 90 because I had 90 frames in blender for the animation so now that you have that all you all you want to do is create frame animation go to these four dots over here that for some reason they don't have a name or not dots um lines jesus and click on click on that and uh, you want to go and you want to um make frames from layers so basically you're just gonna make a whole bunch of frames into layers and uh, when you click on that and you click on space bar You'll have your animation happening, but instead of Blender and Photoshop. And so again, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I haven't tried it, but you can go and mess up with these um, layers individually. Maybe each one edit it to be something different. And who knows, maybe you end up with a cool animation that you couldn't do in, in Blender. Now, I am very aware that there is probably a couple different ways to get this done, but this is the way I do it. This is the way that it works for me. And um, I just wanted to show you guys the way I do it. So, all right, anyways, now what we wanna do is, you wanna go to file. We're gonna save this boy right here. So go to export and save for web legacy. And I'm um, over here, you wanna go and copy my presets. So just to go over it really quick on my, uh, over here I got GIF, I got selective, selected. <laughs> that, that's funny. Diffusion, I have um, colors all the way up to 256. Um, if your animation happens happens to be one color or two or four, then click on that. But in my case, my um, animation is Chrome, so it has very different type of color, like gradients. It has a whole bunch of them. So when I select this one, it, it works more for this specific design. But again, if you, if your logo has one, two, three colors, then you don't have to do this, this many um, colors. Anyways, dither, we want to have it at 88%. You could go higher, but I, uh, this, this usually works for me. Um, and then no transparency dither, and make sure you click on the transparency uh, button. If you don't have that on, what is going to happen is it's going to um, export with the background on it. And again, you don't want that because you want to be able to put this on any um, background and it'll still show without a box behind it, right? So you want to click save and you know say uh look for the um area or folder that you want to save this on on my case of course i want to go to i want to go to the uh the gif file that i went to but um let's see let's see if we could find it really quick we just gotta go on the g's which i just i went over it by a lot already gif tutorial final um gif final tut and uh, just save that, click save, and it'll save. It might take a few seconds, uh, maybe minutes. Again, it all depends on your computer. For me, it usually takes just a couple seconds. And now what you wanna do is, of course, you wanna go to your um, uh, uh, Shopify, or well, in my case, Shopify. So now that we're here in uh, Shopify, and you got the header going on up there, you wanna click on change, and we're gonna change the image. And as you can see, I've played around with um, animations before, or GIF. Um, but we're gonna go and upload that one gift that we exported or just exported so I can show you guys how that would work so You go and search up for that gif final tut which is this one right here And how do you know well if you see at the item type it says gif file So just double click on that and it's gonna upload to your website and this process might take also a few seconds um, and it's just loading up right now as you can see I don't got I don't want you to panic as you can see right here It says that it's selected, but it's not showing anything nothing is happening right now And it's because again for the gif it takes a few seconds for it to upload um, Just give it a just give it a couple seconds and let's see what happens. There you go So it's already up and loading. It's it's on the website. The animation is working. It's it's spinning without a problem so just click on select and uh, now you can play with the, uh, the the size of the animation or the um, the logo. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please make sure to drop a like down below. Comment what you wanna see next. 
Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on that bell notification button to stay tuned for more content. Again, follow my Instagram and TikTok, it's Cosmico Art. Um, over there, I have way more content that I won't be uploading anytime soon into YouTube um, that you guys could get some game from. And uh, yeah, have a great day, guys. I'll see you on the next one.